Thanks. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. You are so welcome. That was amazing. Before Thank you. Voice of an Angel. Thanks so much. Playing skills of an Angel as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I just want to. Just want to introduce yourself. To the Hi, characters. I'm Eleanor Story. Uh, I'm Ashley Williams. And yeah, I'm a singer songwriter from the rural. I sing a lot of soul, jazz, R and B inspired songs. Um, and you play for me. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. yeah. And how long have you been playing together? So I started singing when I was like 16, when I was in high school, then I went to college and did we meet in uni? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's probably like six years, I think. Yeah, so we met in uni and then we've been playing ever since, which is about six years. So you were also in uni? Yeah, did yeah. Did you study, was it music? music. Yeah, 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 yeah. At LMA. Um, Amazing, how was that? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Yeah, it's like exam season. We've been talking about this all day. Oh, right. What's your opinions like? Do you think like uni, like, college education it's like the way like get your degree get your exams or go chase your dreams um so for me personally i feel like that being in college because so i went to lma for college as well so it was very much music based since yeah. like i left school but they probably were the most like important years i'm going to say for my career yeah because, college instead of yeah being in. and yeah. well both because they went hand in hand and it's like everything i learn along the way is like everything I've picked up and put on my like little musical yeah, backpack um, sure. that I hold like with me today. So I feel like it's really important if you yeah, want definitely. to do that, to try and like surround your life with that, um, your dream, whatever it may be. Um, when you were like in school, was that something you was really focused on? Like I need to get my grades to get into this college to uh, pursue the music or was it just like, I can't wait to get out of school so <laughs> I can go and be a musician? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was me, but you obviously needed like the grades to get in. Yeah. But um, I like, towards like GCSE years, like that was really when I started wanting to do music. Like I'd never really sang. And then, really? yeah, and then I started music and I started listening to a lot of Amy Winehouse and Etta James. And I was like, oh my God, like this is what I want to do. You can doing. hear those influences yeah. in your music. Yeah, for thank sure. you. So like they have like inspired me a lot. So for me, I like just wanted to go and keep doing that in like college and yeah. just, see what happened really yeah. and were you yeah. the same yeah i was i was quite like late as well to be fair i i always did well in school and stuff i was quite a good kid in school but um good boy yeah it was it, was, um, it was quite later it was like um i kind of real like you know playing guitar as like a hobby and then realized you know it can be a career and stuff yeah. and then it was only you know sixth form and stuff i decided that you know go see Something a degree that you, you'd yeah, like yeah. to do yeah definitely mm. Yeah, I'm the same. I think for me, like college was the first time I enjoyed like education at all. Hated school. Yeah. yeah. Hated it. And then uni, I was the same and never even planned to go to uni. But I'm glad I did because now I'm here I'm in Liverpool. I've yeah. never yeah. left. Do you know what I mean? Did you do music in uni? I'd done performing arts in uni, but I left school at 16 and went to a college yeah. and done performing arts there and it was genuinely the best isn't it years. though yeah like fully and i think everyone says that as well yeah. Yeah. and you meet so many people who like are like my yeah and stick yeah. with you for like so for example us like yeah. like you can't get rid of yeah. them now like exactly. you stuck on <laughs> you you know i don't know and i'm like a bad smell I? <laughs> <laughs> you just follow each other around go on yeah, <laughs> perfect no but I, I think it's the first time as well because when you're in school you're just surrounded by everyone that's in your area and the same yeah. age yeah not necessarily like-minded or the same so when you do go to college and you find those people that are like your mates and they get you on another level yeah, and definitely. you start singing a lyric and they finish it you're like oh twin <laughs> God, that's amazing. so it's like a whole new life yeah definitely i agree but it's great that you've met each other there and you've sort of carried that on because growing together as friends and as like bandmates yeah is amazing isn't yeah it? Definitely. it's very unique <laughs> you're lucky you have that you know I'm surprised he's still with me, to be honest. <laughs> I'm a pain in the ass. <laughs> so what's the, like, the scene for you now? Do you use gig every day? Is it, like, your full-time jobs? Um, so, no, I unfortunately have to still make... Well, I love making coffee, but I have to work in hospitality <laughs> as, like, um, my full-time job um, to fund this career. But... Um, and you're the same, aren't you? Yeah, hospitality. Yeah, hospitality. A lot of people don't realise how expensive this oh, career yeah. actually is. Like, studio time's ri like ridiculous. I thankfully get a little bit of a rate because I'm working through, like, an artist development programme. Um, but, like, studio time's ridiculous. Like, rightly so, though, because they're incredible mm. at what they yes. do. Um, and it costs because it's, like, so hard to, like, hone that craft. Yeah, definitely. Um, but 
what was the question again? <laughs> like people don't realise how expensive it actually is. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Release yeah. music and release videos and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes like when you go to events, people might see content and go, that looks amazing. They must be making X amount. And it's probably cost you. You're yeah. under, like you're yeah, actually yeah. out Honestly. money to get to that event. Yeah. Or to yeah. get that content. And it's like you know? sometimes you don't get like the money back from like what you've just put out. But like yeah. that is the hustle and it's like never ending. But you that's why do, I, yeah i think it's important when you when you are gigging and you make the money in music to reinvest it 100 yeah, and like your equipment yeah and your, definitely you know you could spend 400 quid on a guitar which is a, a nice price but yeah. in maybe a couple of years you'll have to spend another 400 but if you yeah. just yeah like splash out yeah and you just <laughs> pay that maybe 900 or <laughs> a grand you'll never have to buy that guitar again no. at no. least for like 15 years unless you want one yeah you mm. know so sometimes i think it's worth investing your money back into it because you get out of it. Yeah. yeah, but we do gig like we do um, a lot of cover gigs, don't we? Yeah, bars um, and stuff. So we get money from that. But yeah. like the other gigs where it's like our own stuff, like we do a few of them as well, don't we? Yeah. That's the one I really want to be pushing more. I was yeah. just going to ask, what's your favorite? Do you yeah. like doing the covers or originals? Mm, originals. Yeah, 100%. originals. Yeah. Yeah, because people have an expectation with like covers, and it's like we are very much like. Sunday soul vibes yeah, and it's like okay. when you're playing on a Saturday in a bar like people expect like Jamie Webster like all that sort I get of that stuff, and I completely <laughs> get that. like like you like yeah. you're great yes. at that sort of stuff it's just like I understand because there's it's so meal dominated yeah and where we get and stuff and it, it's true like they do on a Saturday night they want to hear crowd pleasers they want to hear Jamie Webster yeah. but that stuff doesn't suit my voice and I can't yeah, do it same but everyone's unique so for the, the likes of those Saturday singers that do do the Jimmy Webster, they probably can't do Sunday school sessions. Yeah. No. So you gotta yeah. take your money. No, definitely. And see I just know if I was on a night out, I would not want to be hearing me. Down the <laughs> <line>. <laughs> I know that if I was out for Sunday lunch, I'd definitely want to be hearing you. And oh, like, thank for you. Sunday drinks, for yeah. sure. Oh, thanks. 100%. Appreciate that. <laughs> no, but there was something else I was going to ask you then before and I've sidetracked myself. <laughs> the original stuff, it blows my mind that you're more comfortable singing originals oh than covers because yeah, i love it like i love being naked yeah, yeah. Sing, really I mean, oh feel exposed See, i've done this thing where like i have a little egg shell and it's like that is just my stage egg shell and yeah. i put it on and then i get a beyonce it sasha fierce it all right off. slim shady with no, the but, alter egos <laughs> get it literally but it, it makes you feel more confident but also it does it's when people will just listen and that for me is like yeah. the biggest like reward I can get is when people actually listen and don't just sit and chat through your songs like yeah. I remember we did a gig like like where I live in West Kirby and like you could literally hear a pin drop when I was yeah. singing my original <laughs> yeah. and that was in a covers be. gig yeah. as well like that's I just threw one be. in there it feels more as well like it feels more rewarding like if someone says oh it was a great cover like it's like oh thanks but it's like if it's like a great original song yeah it, it means more far more you know? yeah because that's what's come from within you yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's why I get experience. so nervous to <laughs> share like originals whereas a cover I'm like yeah I'll sing it yeah twice. you know what I mean like, I don't care because it's not my song yeah see I You're love brave. it oh, my goodness. <laughs> brave I couldn't I think I'm just a bit of a <laughs> an attention seeker <laughs> like all watch me Listen, we're performers you have to be an attention yeah. seeker to, to make it fake it till you make it as well mm. but for like the gigs and stuff you have been gigging for a while because we met on a gig about three years ago didn't we yeah yeah, yeah. Have you got any like standout gigs that you've done and you went, that was amazing. I'll never Literally. forget that. Or the opposite. <laughs> like that's yeah. been the worst gig ever and I will never do that venue again. Mm. So there's two for us. Well, for me, definitely. Yeah. I, we just, l it wasn't last week, it was the week, week before. We went to Ronnie Scott's in London and we did like a gig there. Amazing. And that was like a pinnacle moment yeah, for me. Yeah. Like I love that place and like I always remember sitting across from it in like the little Italian cafe um, when I was like 17 thinking oh I really want to play there when oh, I'm Oh guys that's like full circle moment. <laughs> yeah no fully and like that for me I was like oh my god like it was incredible and like it was such a good vibe like there were so many people I didn't know and it was just exactly what I wanted to like be playing and yeah. they, like right crowd to be playing it too and like they just they did love it like I really get emotional it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but um, another one was the cabin, wasn't it? For yeah. like for Liverpool, like yeah, yeah. we played BBC introducing yeah, um, with Dave Monks there wow. um, the year before. So that for me and obviously yeah. for you as well. Was I'm like crazy. a big Beatles fan, so that was that that's, was yeah. cool. That, yeah. That's like a yeah, moment. and it was yeah, mad yeah. to have like my nan there who like used to go there <laughs> when she was like younger. Do you know what I mean? Guys, stop! This is so <laughs> emotional. <laughs> this is like hug this is hugging my soul. <laughs> this is so nice. So obviously Beatles musical inspirations and Amy Winehouse and stuff. Yeah. Do you use, when you're writing music, are they conscious? Like, are, are you trying to emulate them into your songs or is it very much what just comes out of you and mm. it's influenced? I feel like Amy's lyric, like lyricism, is that yeah. the right word? Lyricism. Let's make it a word. Her lyrics, the way she writes is exactly what I like to like try and put into my songs um, when I'm writing them because she had such a like poetic way of like speaking things. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I just For sure, yeah, that. yeah. But um, yeah, I try and keep that within my writing. Um, other than that, I just try and really like make sure it's something I would want to sing sometimes, because sometimes yeah, yeah. I'll write things, I'm like, that is not me, what am I doing? Sometimes, do you not think sometimes when you're writing, especially lyrics, it's like, this is so literal, it, yeah. it makes too much sense. Yeah. Like, and I want there to be a bit of mystery about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know? And sometimes I feel like I've just got to throw a really odd word in there and people will be like, what does that mean? Yeah. And I don't even know what it means, I've just Googled it. It sounds good. <laughs> yeah. So you rock with but it. Yeah. What's yeah. like the dynamic with writing? Do you come up with the music? Do you come up with the lyrics? Is it a joint effort? Yeah, so for the stuff we've just played then, um, I wrote one of them on my own. And then, as I said in the performance, I wrote one with another producer and then another one was with another producer, but stuff we haven't played um, today. Yeah. Um, we did write, didn't we? Yeah, and yeah. we'd work it where like, I'd write the melody lyrics and like we'd work on like what chords like we wanted yeah. it to sound like. Yeah. So, and is there a specific process with that? Like, do you say, let's do this? Let's do this. Yeah. I usually just, just shout a load yeah. of chords at Ash and go, Sometimes it's F. organic as well. We just kind of, we'll just start jamming and then you'll just start like riffing and yeah. kind of. And then I'll just go yeah. play. Sometimes that's seven. the best way, yeah. isn't it though? Mm. Like when it just comes like naturally and you're not yeah. trying to yeah. force anything. Mm. No. But sometimes it's nice to like write with other people because like, I can bring that to our sessions and like yeah. vice versa. So it's nice, yeah. Have you ever had any like gig nightmares? Oh God. Um, do you know what I have? And I mean, I'm not going to call them out on it, but like we call got, them out, do it. No, I can't. <laughs> I'll lose all my gigs forever. Like I'll st <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Um, basically we played in this place and she put us behind this wall and the speakers were like run like right over this yeah. side. And the other one was like, behind the wall and I'm like, like 30 feet how away, she's like you won't be able to hear yourself but we can hear you I'm like brilliant so I'm basically big brother right <laughs> like I was like I can't yeah. hear myself and then she turns me down to the point I thought my mic was off oh. I was like what is going on she's like people are complaining it's too loud I'm like okay but I'm straining my voice yeah like if I have another gig today I can't play it yeah and I, I think people don't understand that when I'm like I have my own speakers in my car yeah, yeah. that I could like have behind me so I can just hear myself a little bit because otherwise I'm just I can't I couldn't no, hear myself good no. that's bar stuff like they're because they're not clued up with yeah the music side of things they'll just turn it down and I'm like yeah. I can't hear myself don't yeah do that literally with it. so that was a nightmare wasn't it yeah. I was ready to leave like what about you Ash like any snap strings or yeah just <laughs> feels after strings. another and another and yeah I have on, on that guitar as well, I just played, I have like a trem system type thing. It's like a big piece. So if one string snaps, like the whole guitar goes out of tune. So oh. it is a nightmare, but it doesn't happen too often. I keep it, I keep my strings quite fresh. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you're trying to make a living from it as well. Yeah, definitely. There's nothing worse. I know people that will like carry around two guitars yeah. so that they don't have to change strings. They just lift a guitar. That's a lot of effort. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't carry it on my back. No. I'd rather just be like, I'm taking five guys. I'm gonna change this string. <laughs> I know. I'm literally walking down the street like this, and he's like this, like a donkey, <laughs> aren't you? Oh. Um, so coming into summer and stuff, any festivals? Is no, we don't. We haven't ever played a festival except for that one we played with you. Mm. Um, we haven't really done any, but no. where I need to be getting music out. Basically, like I'm gonna start releasing some new stuff. 
so stay tuned. Um, but Absolutely, plug it, plug yeah, it. Yeah, stay sure. tuned, uh, check my socials and all that, keep an eye out. But I'm going to be putting more music out and it's going to be a lot more of what I want my sound to be like now, up to date. Um, so I'm hoping we get some stuff from the back, like off the back of that. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I feel like because I don't really have much out at the minute, it's like hard to like be like, what is your sound? Unless you've heard me live. Yeah. Like at a, at a gig. But again, unless you've got money to burn, oh, it's and hard to get 100%. all that stuff and it's out. Like, and do it justice as well. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Because if you write a song, you don't want it to be recorded shit. No, exactly. No. And it's like, do it justice. if you're releasing something, you need to have something ready to release after like you've, it's like a massive like, and then you need to be writing new stuff whilst you're releasing yeah, sure stuff. Is. It's so much pressure. <laughs> Especially with a job and everything. Yeah, it's yeah. like, how do you even live? <laughs> so what's next for you as a band? What's the next exciting um, thing? I mean, we haven't got like, anything exciting as yet yeah. but the release is my most exciting thing um and i'm getting back in the studio to record the one of the songs that i just played um Amazing. so I'm yeah really looking forward to that thanks here in the new tunes thanks mm -hmm. the I'm new excited. vibe yeah evolved lady yeah she's grown <laughs> <laughs> she's grown <laughs> i'm using tiktok guys <laughs> is, isn't it just a whole new world to Honestly. like navigate I was trying to explain to my mum today, like, what, like, she's like, why are you taking videos of your food? I'm like, there's a reason. Trust the process and just watch it on Mom, TikTok. Mum, trust the process. You'll I'm understand like, when yeah. I buy you a Porsche one day. Video and me putting sugar in my coffee for nothing. Like, <laughs> but yeah, like. Like, mum, respect the hustle. Yeah. One day I will be rich and famous and you won't be here with me. No, I'm joking. Oh, no, she'll be in the background. She'll yeah, be no. putting the, the yeah, sugar in your will. coffee. Yeah, I'll be like, mum. <laughs> I'm really shielding me for that. I hope she doesn't reject. <laughs> no, guys, do you know what? That sounds amazing. And I'm really, really excited for you to release some new songs and stuff. Thanks. For sure. Where can we find your stuff that's out already? Um, Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube. We've got two music videos, yeah. <laughs> which, um, yeah. So they're on um, Instagram, YouTube. TikTok. Yeah, Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is Elena Story Music, E double L E N A uh, for my first name. And then TikTok is Elena Story Music underscore. And then obviously Elena Story for Spotify and stuff. Ash, do you want to share your OnlyFans for the, <laughs> for the guys? Maybe right, later. We'll keep that on the DL. <laughs> we'll keep that on the DL. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. And thanks thank for saying and chatting to me as well. Oh, thank you so much for having us. You're welcome.